Let's talk about this. Uh, the quad lock mount that I'll put in the head stem on my bike versus the Ram quick grip that I'm running currently at the moment. So I thought I'd do a compar comparison between the two of them. I've used both systems for a while and then on my R3, when I had the R3, I had another one of the quad lock ones, but it was like one of the ones that actually went around the handlebars and I modified that to make it work. So let's talk about the pros and cons on both of these mounting systems. Starting with the quad lock. The quad lock system is a very simple and easy to use system. I do like the way it mounts up in the head stem. Very strong, very sturdy, doesn't go anywhere. Like I had no issues whatsoever with this coming off. However, there is flaws to this system and I will get to that in a minute. We're just sticking to the positives for now. Has a good range of motion, good adjustability, easy to move it and change it however you see fit. If it's in the way, adjust it and whatever for your bike. It may not have some attachments for the bigger head stem bikes, but I can't talk. My attachment for mine worked perfectly and mine is the 2016 Yamaha R1. Not R1S. People think that I've got an R1S. It's an R1. Not getting into that, going off topic. Anyway, the downfalls of the quad lock system. I'll get it for you. The case. It's another expense that you have to have. Um, I do love quad lock, and even in the video, I stated how much I love these cases. I do love these cases. However, this is now the third one I've gone through. Um, it, they have a tendency of breaking right there. So quad lock. You see this? And then it no longer holds your phone. Um, I almost lost my phone on my bike because of this. Uh, so, yeah, it's quad lock cases are great, and I still do like the quad lock case, but this is now like the third or fourth one that I've had this issue with. It just breaks on that seam right there, as you can see. So, that is the issue. Another thing is, sometimes it will not line up perfectly and locking it in it doesn't necessarily lock so it will like sit up but you think it's in and it's not but I think that's more user error if anything and when it's actually the phone's not in the case I can get it to lock in like perfectly every time like now so that's probably the only two real gripes I've got about this the third one is this the poncho. Now this is the poncho for my older previous phone. The poncho was a little bit annoying. I do like the quad lock cases, even though they do have this issue here. Uh, and they've got really good protection, like drop protection, all that sort of stuff. I do like the mount. This is a lot sturdier. Way better head stem mount setup compared to the RAM mount, which uh, I am currently running. Now, the reason I switched over to the RAM mount and the quick grip, which is on my bike currently, so I don't have that here to show you, I recently changed cases because my case, quad lock cases were getting destroyed. Now, I do have two other quad lock cases, so I still will use quad lock cases down the track. So I got a new one and that. And I had someone else ask me on the video uh, underneath about this head stem mount, which phone it fits. Provided you get the case, you can have a 13 Pro, Max, whatever, Samsung, whatever, Google Pixel, provided they make the case for it, it'll work with this. So I don't have an issue with the, the cases, seeing I've, I've got another one, but I decided to go a different route and see, with my phone this time, I decided to try out a OtterBox case. And unfortunately, because of the OtterBox, it is massive and doesn't fit in anything. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with the quad lock mount. And that's ultimately the reason why I changed this out. Because this case, I had issues with this and I decided to swap it out. Don't hate the product and there's a good chance that I will switch in between the two products and this is why. Moving over to the RAM mount, I wasn't necessarily happy to begin with. The way it mounts up in the head stem was a bit of a, I did a video on it, but it's like, 
I'm not entirely happy with it. You can still rotate and move it, and I'm like, uh, not 100% sold. The quick grip setup, however, I do like that. I like how you just slide the phone in, it locks at the bottom, locks at the top, and I am very impressed with that. However, it's a lot bulkier. It is definitely a lot, takes up a lot more space than this. Yeah, having it on your bike all the time, you may run into dramas with that. Pretty strong compared to the quad lock mount, but it's a completely different mounting setup. So I, I can't compare them side by side with that. Ease of use for the, the two of them. They're both as easy to use. Now, the reason why I didn't go the X grip, which is going a little bit off topic, but I've got an X grip in my car because I had to change my car mount because the Otterbox is just that bloody big. It doesn't fit in anything. So I have opted for the X grip in my car. I would never go the X grip on the motorcycle and there's reasons for that. You have the bands that can wrap around all four corners and I had issues with that. Uh, I don't like it. it. Covers up corners of the screen. It's more of a mucking around to try and get it all situated and fixed in every time you're on and off the bike and if you're doing something like a food delivery service which I do time to time whenever I feel like it on the bike you then have to unfold the four corners pull it out it, it, it's just a pain I don't like it whereas the quick grip you just slide the phone in from the bottom it then locks down and it's in place easy quad lock slide it on Rotate quarter of a turn, locks in. Now, if I could choose between the two of them, uh, which one I would have, that is the question. That is actually very difficult, and I've had a lot of people ask me about this. I prefer the fact that with RAM mount, it's more versatile. It's more for a universal set of phones. So you can put whatever phone, setup, case, whatever, on that, and you it'll work. You don't have to keep renewing it every single time. You know, Ram Man aren't worried about you just coming back and consistently having to update and lock you into almost like what I call an Apple Apple format. So you buy an Apple Mac, you're locked into that. Whereas the Ram Man is more of a PC sort of route where you can you can mix and match, you can do whatever. They don't care what you've got. They'll just do something to facilitate it. Whereas you go to the Quad Lock, and nothing against Quad Lock, like they have sent me stuff in the past I've paid for both these products not sponsored or anything along those lines but it locks you into their system and I'm not necessarily happy with that in some ways because like I said the cases they don't do an otter box style case if they did an otter box style case that incorporated the poncho as well so you could use it in all weather it would probably be fantastic but they don't the other gripes with it is you can't use it with any other case. You know, you can't, as far as I'm aware, you can't put an attachment onto this that works with other cases. Quadlock just keep it locked to their system. Like, they do a very good product. However, allow a universal setup as well. I know it goes against what they're trying to do because they're all about their case and their, their design and I understand that. But where it comes to, like, you, you make a real good product from here down. It's like strong. Why don't you do a universal thing? Just just food for thought. However, I would use both of them. And the reason why I'm, I'm going this way and I'm not going to say, hey, go the Ram Mount. Hey, go the Quad Lock. Because I'll probably use this Quad Lock case with the Poncho on the Ram Mount. Because the poncho is very good at keeping water and things out. Whereas the Otterbox doesn't necessarily keep water out too well. It can keep, it's water resistant, but it's not like super waterproof. Like you'd, even with the case, this does a better job uh, with the poncho. But if you drop it in water and submerge it in water, it's you're gonna have issues. So at the end of the day, which one would I choose for strength and just an overall easy product? I'd pick the bottom half of the quad lock because this setup, this head stem mount setup, the way this mounts is beautiful. I, I really like that. It's it's done really well and it's sturdy as anything. Like this was like rock solid when I was on my bike. 
If it wasn't for the case, I probably would have never gone the ram mount. But since going the ram mount, I found that they need to improve their head stem setup. Definitely need to improve that head stem setup. Now you guys, some of you guys may have swear by ram mount and have had ram mount head stem mounts for years and never had an issue. I find that it loosens up over time. This doesn't. That's why I would probably choose both. For now, I'm running the, the quick grip and I'll run it for as long as, like I ran the quad lock stuff for, what, four years. And so I've got a lot of experience with quad lock, like I've nothing against them. But now I'm moving over to the ram mount and I'm just gonna see if it can run the test of time the same as that quad lock mount. So if you guys have a quad lock or a rear mount. What are your thoughts? Shoot them down in the comment section. I'm always open to, you know, hearing everyone else's suggestions and what their experiences have been. If you're on the fence moving over to quad lock, I do suggest it uh, from the rear mount, but just beware, you're gonna have to use their products. It's gonna be exactly like when you transfer over to Apple. You know, they, they want you on their product, their, their system, and they pigeonhole you into that. Like they're very good of what they do, but you aren't going to be able to mix and match and use different pieces here and there. Whereas RAM mount is like the PC mount, like the, the PC side, you can mix and match, you can do whatever you want and they don't care. They're like, hey, here we go, we make mounts. Fucking good at it. RAM mount, um, if you want more of a universal outlook uh, on, on both, both sides. So if you have a case and you really love your, your phone case, like the, the Otterbox, I really like the Otterbox, then yeah, I would, I would stick with a, a rear mount. That way you can go whatever whatever route you want to go. You want to go the X group, you go the X group. If you want to go the quick grip, you go the quick grip. If you want to go something else, you can. You can even mount an iPad on your phone if you, on your motorcycle if you wish, so yeah. Anyway, a few people have been asking me about this, so I thought I'd do it. If you have any questions, shoot them down in the comment section. I'll try and answer them for you. As I said before, if you have any like things and experiences with either of these mounts, shoot them down in the comment section too. I know a lot of people go to the comment sections to see, myself included, hey, what, what's going on with, with different people and their opinions on it. And uh, yeah, till next time guys. Hopefully I'm on the bike. Take care.